the Compliance Kitchen podcast and I was looking to see what was cooking in compliance in the UK recently and uh, thought we could do two updates on that, starting with the UK's global anti-corruption sanctions regulations, which are not published as of April 26th. Uh, This is a new regime that also sanctioned 22 people who the UK government suspects of serious corruption and these individuals are now subject to travel ban and asset freezes. Now as to the regulations themselves, there is a, a policy paper that the UK government issued and it discusses various factors that are relevant to the consideration of designations under uh, these uh, 2021 global anti-corruption sanctions regulations. Again, this is in the UK. Uh, The paper notes that the regulations permit um, a UK minister to designate a person only if there is reasonable grounds to suspect that this person is involved in serious corruption and then it goes into more details as to the different factors that the government will weigh when making their decisions whether or not to designate under these new uh, sanctions regulations. So like I said this is a quick update but if you need to take a look at the paper Uh, The UK government also issued a guidance to come with these regulations and a guidance note for non-government organizations as well as a related memorandum. If you go to the blog compliancekitchen.com I have links to all these official documents there for you so that you don't have to spend a lot of time looking for it if uh, this is something that concerns your line of business. And now moving on to the second update for today's uh, podcast episode. Again, UK, both of these updates are concerning UK regulations. This time we're going to talk about uh, export licensing. And so the UK updated its export license guidance. This was on April 22nd. Uh, They updated updated the SEAL guidance. SEAL is the standard individual export license and as the UK government tells us um, this type of license is issued by the export control joint unit and it permits the export of certain strategic controlled items. However, uh, of course as you can imagine a license like this will be limited. There's a It's going to be specific to an exporter and to shipments of stated quantity and specified uh, to a named consignee or end user. So if you need to take a look at the update on SEAL or standard individual export license in the UK uh, and how to how to get a license like that, who needs to who needs to apply or you know who needs who needs a license if you want to check your uh, your items to see if they're controlled again there is a guidance and I have a link on compliancekitchen.com where you can click and uh, find out more information about this this guidance all right so that's that's two two today two updates on the UK and thanks for joining and then I will be back again with whatever cooks up in the compliance kitchen.